I have an interesting case for you today and so the patient presented with the left leg weakness that's the only symptoms apparently what we have basically here is T2 hypo intense lesion uh, with lot of uh, vasogenic edema I'm calling it vasogenic edema because it is not restricting that edema is not restricting however the lesion itself is peripherally restricting with some internal part the central part is not showing any restriction of diffusion uh, flare it is again hypo hypo to iso intense on t1 it is hypo to iso intense and on t1 post contrast you can see there is a peripheral enhancement going on which is like a ring like enhancement and if you can see on the coronal sections there is a ring happening here and uh, that ring is kind of irregular because in anteriorly there is a bigger enhancement compared to the posteriorly is there a meningeal enhancement uh, i don't know like not much to say there is a meningeal enhancement so what should be the differential in this case uh, that would be an interesting question so t2 high point tense uh, lesion with with, it, with with a lot of uh, edema around Differential of this case would be metastasis or highly cellular lymphoma. Um, had it had had it had a cortical uh, sorry dural tail on um, post contrast or something, I would have even called it meningioma. But that is not the case here. Again, now one and important aspect of that would be to know that patient is hailing from what place like and this scan has been sent from india so tuberculosis and caseous necrosis on that part is also the important factor here and that could be a diagnosis a differential diagnosis too because the caseating necrosis will be showing a restriction of diffusion which will not show uh, enhancement and the central part where there is a breakdown of the caseation will not show diffusion restriction which will be a cystic which will be T2 hyper so yeah tuberculosis is also a differential in this case so yeah thank you and if you have any other differentials please let me know